to the weather, a steamy day, a rainy night. So what's next? I think you're going to like it. Mary Kay here with the forecast. Mary Kay? Yeah, we're going to have some clearing in the city tomorrow, Rob, but the problem is that front is going to start stalling just south of Chicago. So what we expect to see is clearing skies with a lake breeze taking place, but south of I-80 and maybe right along it after 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we're going to watch for a thunderstorm chance. 74 degrees right now at O'Hare. Let's check in with a weather watcher because actually we had some pretty interesting pictures come in from that area that was hit so hard. I want to share Kathy Kurth's picture. This is a shelf cloud that she found, and this was near Antioch right before that hefty storm dumped a good two inches of rain in a very short time. The reason, because we had this front crossing the area, and now it's slowing down, and it's going to stall right along I-80 tomorrow. We have all the humid air south of it, cool air north of it. I think the city's going to be on the cool side of this tomorrow. So in the city, we'll start with extra clouds, then clear it out for the afternoon rush, but I think that rain may linger south of I-80 by the afternoon tomorrow. So let's time it out for you. Clouds to start the day, and then look what happens by 3 in the afternoon. This area south would be the focus to have showers and some thunderstorms for the afternoon, and then those taper off after the sun goes down because the front is forecast to stall over the northern third of the state, but with high pressure, we have winds coming around it in a clockwise position. That's going to pull the northeast wind right over the city, clearing the skies and bringing in a slight lake breeze, keeping it cooler downtown. So we're going to see showers come to an end. Hang on to the clouds. 70 for our low temperature. Tomorrow we should hit 83, but with that northeast wind at 10 to 15, I am expecting temperatures downtown to stay in the upper 70s. Same is true in Zion, about 79. And if you're headed to the beach, it's a nice day. Northeast winds at about 5 to 15. That water temperature still holding in the 70s. So the rain chance is south tomorrow. And then as we go through the weekend, we're heating up and we'll keep a lake breeze going each day, Rob, because uh, it looks like temperatures lakeside will hold near 80, but almost 90 by Sunday inland. That still looks pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. We'll take it. Thanks.